Okay, so I have my eyes done. There will be a mini tutorial for this look coming pretty soon here. But for today, we're gonna go ahead and continue now. So now we have the brows done. Second question that I have a lot of people um, asking about is how to do lashes. So that is what I'm going to show you now. I'm going to give you the tips that seem to work best for me. Again, um, lash application, it's, it varies from person to person um, depending on, you know, how long your lashes are, if they're curly, if they're straight, um, you know, just kind of what's gonna be the easiest for you. My lashes are, my natural lashes are very curly and they are um, short as well on top of it. So I have a struggle uh, a lot of times when I'm putting on my lashes. So I'm gonna show you what works best for, for me. Okay, so when you are first putting on your lashes, the first thing that you will see a lot of people doing is coating their lashes with actual mascara. Um, a few reasons for it. The main reasons are one, to make sure that your, your lashes are going to get a nice blend with the falsies that you're going to be putting on. Uh, second, if you have a fallout from eyeshadow on the lashes that can uh, that can show through even with falsies on so you put a little bit of mascara on and that will help to coat it and um, also it just helps to um, add a little bit of uh, emphasis to the lashes before you even begin to put on the falsies so I am gonna go ahead and put some mascara on and I'm gonna be using my black radiant full effect mascara and again my lashes are very short and they're very um, curly. So mascara honestly does not really do too much for me. So my main purpose for doing it is the latter reasons, uh, just because like I, said, I just want to make sure if I have any shadow fallout that it is covered before I start putting falsies on just to help with the blend. So what you'll need when you're doing lashes, you're gonna need obviously the lashes. You will need some form of ad an adhesive and you don't have to use these, but I find that it's much easier if you have some type of applicator to apply the lashes with. So I will be using um, for my glue, the Duo Lash Glue. This is my preferred glue. There are many kinds available, even from the brand itself. There is clear glue, it goes on white, it will dry clear. Uh, they have the one that I'm gonna be using, which is the dark tone. It goes, it starts off gray and it will dry to a black tone. They also have it available in this kind of tube form that will come with a brush applicator that you can actually apply directly to the strips lashes. So this can be easier for you if you're worried that the squeeze tube will be a little too messy. And as before, you get options in the tube form. You can get it with a white that will go that will dry clear. You have a black version that will dry black. And they also have a latex free version with that. Again, there are many different brands that have um, these different types of glues available. So just research, tr uh, just trial and error and figure out which one that you prefer the most. Again, my favorite is the one that I'm gonna be using today. It's the Duo Lash Glue, Dark Tone, and the Squeeze Tube. The reason why this is my favorite out of all of them, I feel like it's going to, I feel like for me, it gets tacky the quickest. As long as you do, as long as you don't overdo it and add too much glue to the strip, um, it has the best hold that I have found. And also when it comes time to remove the lash, at the end of the day, it's an easy remo removal and actually getting the glue off the lashes, it's a lot easier than some of the others. Some, some I have noticed will give you a little bit of a sticky kind of residue behind it even after you've removed the glue. And I don't, I don't notice it when I use this particular glue. So that is why this is my favorite. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take a thin layer of glue and I will run it along the strip and I will show you just about how much you need in just a moment here. And as you can see, I've applied a thin layer of glue. Now I'm going to give that a little bit of time to get tacky. You don't want to go immediately on uh, your lashes with your falsies once you've put the glue on. If you try to do it, all it's gonna do is move around, um, not stay in place, it's gonna be a hassle. Um, just give it about at least 30 to 45 seconds. Let that glue dry down a little bit, let it get a little bit tacky, kind of like get a sticky uh, consistency to it, and that's gonna make it a lot easier when it comes time to actually apply the lashes. So I mentioned another tool that you, that you can use when you're applying your lashes, absolutely not necessary but 
a definite help to you, especially when you're first starting out, is a pair of, is an applicator. What I'm gonna be using today is from Tarte Cosmetics, and it is their Lash Buddy. It's actually a, a horizontal pair of lashes. A lot of times that you'll find that tweezers um, are going to be uh, where they are almost like when you have to take that tweezer and head it in the direction of your eye, which can be pretty like intimidating and daunting, especially like when you're first starting out with it, you know, and you're gonna worry that you're gonna poke your eye out. That's why I love these tweezers. The point to these lashes will never go um, towards your eye. They are always away from them. So this is how, I'm not going to apply them just yet, I'm just showing you how these lashes will lay using this particular type of applicator. They will lay like this instead of you having traditional tweezers and having to bring that to your eye in that direction, if that makes sense. All right, so I've given this enough time. Now it's time to actually apply the lashes. And I'm going to, sh and I'm going to show you what works best for me. And again, please um, take into consideration that I have very short curly lashes. So for me, a lot of times it is almost like a fight in order to get the lashes on. So this is what I do. Now, I have a mirror that you guys can't see, but it is sitting below me. And I am looking directly down into this mirror in order to see my lashes. There are some people that they will take a mirror and they will and they will actually take that mirror and they will hold it up. So they will take their lashes and pop them on right on top of it. For some people that works fine, but for me, because my lashes are so curly, if I did that, I would not be able to see where my lash line was and I would be, it would be a struggle or battle. <laughs> and if I notice that I'm looking down and I keep my eyes close to close, I have a more visible view of my lash line. So now all I have to do is with these horizontal tweezers, just take it, keep looking down if you need to. And I can just pop that right on here because now I can see exactly where that needs to go. Now when I'm applying my lashes, I do this in a few steps. First, I start in the center. I pop the center of my lash on and as long as that lash glue is tacky, when I let go, it's gonna stay right in place. I'm not gonna to have to worry about it falling off. Next thing I do, once I know that that is secure, I can start playing with the ends and just pop them right on. You can use your fingers to do this. You can use your tweezers to do this. Whatever is most comfortable for you. Sometimes, honestly, as I did just now, I'll do both. I'll use the tweezers for one side and then I'll go up with my finger for the second side. But as long as you have made sure that that glue is tacky, you're not gonna have to fight with it. Because as you can see, as soon as I lifted my hands, once I placed it on the center of my eye, it stayed put without moving. So that's, that is the biggest key. Make sure that glue is tacky. That's gonna be half the battle right there. All right. And for me, what I'm doing is I'm sitting it on top of my lash line. I don't sit it on the skin. I sit it right on the top of my lash line. Once I'm pretty sure that that is secured, I'll push them up just a little bit, my, my natural lashes, and with my falsies, just to make sure they're blended together nicely. Also push them down just a little bit on the top. And that's it. Now, one thing that you can also do once you have your lashes on and you're pretty sure that they're secure, if you wanna just go that extra little step, you can take your tweezers and pinch your lashes together with your falsies and that'll just um, help to ensure that you have a nice, um, a nice blend. So you just literally take your tweezers and you pinch them. And that, you guys, is how you apply lashes. All 
All right, you guys, so that was it. That was my brow and lash tutorial combo. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I know a lot of you have been asking um, for me to do this tutorial for you, um, and I figured this would probably be the best way to get it done. I do have a tutorial for the eyes that's coming up shortly. If I haven't posted it already, you should be seeing it within the, within the next few days. So I hope that you stay tuned for that. If you haven't already, please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. And if you haven't, please make sure that you tap the bell notification and you will receive a notification each uh, video that I come out with. I greatly appreciate you all being in here with me. Um, thank you for the love that you all have shown so far. If you have questions, definitely please make sure to ask in the comments or videos that you'd like to see uh, because I do want to know what questions that you guys have, what looks you want to see, if there's particular subjects that I need to, um, that I need to hit that you're not seeing um, on YouTube so far and I will do my best to try to get those done for you. So again, I really hope that this was helpful to you and I will talk to you all later. I love you guys. Bye!